Sea lion rescued today in Carlsbad. It is now getting care at SeaWorld. Experts say this could be part of a larger problem that is sweeping all across California's coast. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price and I'm Kirsten Holmes. This sea lion is just one of several animals that have been rescued in San Diego just in the past week. Experts say there's something in the water along our coast that is making animals sick. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez has what you need to know. The sea lion was rescued in Carlsbad. Tonight, I've been speaking with the man who was visiting the beach and saw the animal stranded along the shore. Here you can see the sea lion on the beach in Carlsbad. I saw the sea lion sitting there, or kind of lying there, and, and it was shaking a lot. And it just didn't look well. Um, there was another couple that was standing there, and, and the guy says, I think it's dying. The animal's strange behavior prompted Matt Leonard to call SeaWorld's rescue team. They came out to rescue her today. She definitely looks like she has neurologic symptoms um, that were probably going to be consistent with tomoic acid intoxication. It's caused by a toxic algae bloom on the coast of California, and animals get sick if they consume it. I think it was up closer to Santa Barbara and Ventura because that their um, beaches are definitely more inundated than ours. I think we're seeing a little bit of a trickle down effect. We're seeing kind of those animals that were up farther north that are coming down and stranding on our beaches. SeaWorld San Diego rescued seven sea lions and one dolphin, all believed to be suffering from this neurotoxin in the past week. One was released. Uh, the dolphin was humanely euthanized. Um, a couple of the sea lions have also been humanely euthanized and then a few we have three or four still in house that we're treating currently. Demoic acid doesn't affect humans unless they consume toxic seafood. Health experts say symptoms can happen within 30 minutes to 24 hours. They include vomiting, headaches, and dizziness. As far as the rescued sea lion goes, tonight she's getting fluids and medicine. She'll be with SeaWorld for a week's long observation period as she recovers, and hopefully will be released back into the wild. And SeaWorld rescue teams are 24 seven. We have information if you see an animal who looks sick or is in distress. You can find all of that on CBS8.com. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS8.